Have you ever wondered why it's called the Pentateuch? You might have heard this term a few times, especially if you've delved into the realm of biblical studies. Today, we unravel the origin and history of the term Pentateuch. The word Pentateuch traces its roots back to the Greek language. Penta means five, and tokos translates to vessel, tool, or book. So in essence, Pentateuch means five books. This term is used to describe the first five books of the Bible, traditionally attributed to Moses. These books, also known as the five books of Moses, include Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, let's journey back in time to the third century BC, when the term first came into use. Seventy Jewish scholars in Alexandria, Egypt, translated the Hebrew Bible into Greek for the local Jewish community. This translation, known as the Septuagint, used the term Pentateuch to denote the first five books. From there, the term made its way into Christian and academic usage and has been with us ever since. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, the term Pentateuch was widely accepted and used by scholars, theologians, and clergy in the Christian world. This was largely due to the influence of the Septuagint, which had become a highly respected and widely used translation of the Bible. Now, if you're wondering if the Pentateuch is in the Old or New Testament, it's in the Old Testament. The Pentateuch forms the foundation of the Old Testament and is considered sacred by both Jews and Christians. It details the creation of the world, the early history of humanity, the origins of the Israelite nation, and the laws given to the Israelites. In summary, the term Pentateuch comes from the Greek words penta and tachos, meaning five books. It was first used in the third century BC during the translation of the Hebrew Bible into Greek, known as the Septuagint. The term refers to the first five books of the Bible, which are part of the Old Testament. It has been in use since then and is accepted by scholars, theologians, and clergy worldwide. So the next time you hear the term Pentateuch, you'll not only know what it refers to, but also appreciate the rich history behind this term. It's a fascinating journey of language and faith, intertwining to give us the term we know today.